Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I created this wood bridge destruction effect in Type Law 3ds Max. So without a further ado, let's get started. So I have created a basic setup here, two boxes. Uh, we will consider it as a uh, mountains and I have here bridge planks and I have created also some splines also I have created these uh, logs for our bridge so first of all so I am working in unit centimeter and my one unit is equal to one centimeter so first I need a tie flow In type flow, let me set on my screen so you can see all the process. Okay. So first we need a bus supply operator. In bus supply operator, I'll select our main ropes. Let me pick it. I pick my all four ropes. Let me add shape operator. Let me rename this even to main ropes. Okay. In shape operator, I'll select 3D and geosphere lores. Okay. These are very tiny, so let me change our display to geometry. So, as you can see, these are very tiny spheres. So, I'll change our scale to variation 0 and scale will be almost 300 ok now let's uh, decrease our percentage in bus supply so we have more more spheres uh, I think we are good here ok now we need to convert it into physics shape let me add physics shape operator Okay, as you can see, they are dropped on the ground. So we have to attach them here. For that, I am using sphere. Let me position it. I think it's too big. I think 7 cm is ok ok let me copy it on both sides let me copy all 4 here too we have to attach our these spheres to this so we need a surface test operator in surface test op operator I'll select our spheres all spheres from both sides and I am changing its uh, surface test mode to volume inside now we need uh, to ok so first of all we need to bind these spheres with each other for that I'll use a physics bind operator now they are binded with each other connect our end spheres to these spheres for that we need a physics uh, sp switch operator and let me attach our surface test to this event and I am using physics switch to the kinematic ok now you can see they are connected here and our spheres are working as a rope but here is one thing I don't need physics bind as a glue I will change it to joints let me check how it is working ok Here's one thing, you can see it's moving very fast. To slow it down, we need a slow operator. Right under the physics bind, I'll change its velocity to 20%. Now it's working very good. Okay, now we need to make the ropes out of these spheres. 
I'll copy our main drop event and paste it down and I'll change its uh, name to portive ropes. I'll remove all these lines and let me select these lines. Okay, I'll select it as a let me shut down this event for a moment so we can work only on this event. In this event, I'll select I'm selecting our small ropes. Okay, here's a one problem. You can see these are too much fares so we need to decrease them let me increase our percentage to two uh, or uh, i guess we need uh, to shut down our these operators for a moment so we can only work on our these spheres five percent is okay now i can start all our event okay now let's test it let me change this display color to red we don't need surface test operator for our sportive ropes because we don't want to tie them to anything. They are automatically bind with each other. Let me create these spheres into the ropes. For that, I need a spline path. I'll add in both events and let me create new. In spline, enable in viewport, enable in render. Okay. Here one thing. In spline, path you can see it's creating another supplies which we don't want so I'll select physics binding now you can see it working as a rope okay now I'll copy it into our second event too also in support event as I don't need a surface test operator I'm deleting this so we have created ropes for our bridge now we need to attach these planks to our ropes. So for that I need a uh, birth objects. I'll select all our planks. Okay, I'll select every plank add selected. Now as we have created our planks in type flow as a type flow object, so I'll hide all other my objects. Expect these boxes. Sorry, also these okay now the ropes are working very fine now we want these planks to work with these ropes so for that I need a physics shape operator so we need to change these planks into the physics and we need physics bind operator too I'll make physics bind mode to rigid joint okay let's test it okay as you see it's uh, messed up so I have did a little mistake here. I need to slow this event too. Also, let me change our event for name to planks. Okay, you can see it's working much better, but there are some problems. So, what is the problem? So, first of all, these planks have huge mass, which these ropes can't handle. For that. Let me go into the physics shape operator in planks event and let me override our size mass to 0.1 or any value work for you. Let's test it. Now you can see it's much better. Think we need to increase our steps. So I'll go select I flow settings and I'll increase our time steps to one by two. I think it's uh, working nicely and better than before okay so we have successfully created our rope okay now you can now you ask how I created the bullets which react with our planks and destroy our bridge for that let me go into the frame zero and I'll create a second event I think the firing will be start at frame 30 to 100 and total fires we need 20 I guess it's okay we'll check a little later now we need a type flow icon I'll change its rectangle to color let me position it we have our tie icon now we need position icon and we'll select our tie icon. Now we need shape operator. In shape operator, I'll select as a 3D object and 
geosphere lore as okay let's check if okay first of all i am shut downing our all other events so we can focus only on our bullets for now okay i'll rename this event to bullets okay let's uh, test it if it's generated okay they are generated but their size is very small so i'm going to increase it to 500 i guess it's okay or 700 or anything you want but 600 is working fine for me or uh, 800 i guess yeah 800 is okay for me now we need to, to shoot these bullets for that i'll going to select speed operator and i'll select its direction to along icon arrow and i will pick our icon now you can see they are moving but they are not moving properly so for that we have to increase their speed so i am increasing its magnitude to 50 i guess decreasing total particle of bullets and also increasing the speed yeah the 100 centimeters are okay so let's end it on 200 frames okay yeah it's working fine for me okay now we need to react them with the bridge let's uh, open our other events when these bullet particles are collide with these blacks they will get destroyed our ropes will be destroyed and they will fall down so for that i need groups particle groups and let me copy this in event and i'll change its group to group one and i'll copy it on all other three groups in main group in sportive groups and in planks so after it i also copy this group to our bullets group in bullet group i'll change it to group two group two okay now what we have to do i'll add our property test operator into the planks in planks i'll select it to the neighbors count and uh, i'll change its test value to the greater than value will be zero and radius will be 10 centimeter for now let's add one more display operator and change its color to something white i guess in also property test will go down and we have to select simulation group 2 so when the particles of simulation group 2 are under the radius of 10 centimeter and these particles greater than zero mean there will be a one particle two particle of the bullets then it will it will send our event to the next event send our that blank particle into the next event so let's check if it's working properly okay now you can see they are close enough but they are not changing the color to the white as this blank so for that i think i need to increase its radius to 50 centimeter yeah at 50 centimeter it's working very fine but there is no way they are colliding with this so i think i'll just give it a back okay now it's working fine let me add more now fracture event here too okay here's one problem as you can see the Vornoi fracture is working fine when the bullet hit our plank they are broken but they are also making some joint with these so we need to remove these joint binds when it's in this event so for that we'll go into the physics binds and i'll select physics break let me go into the zero frame okay i add that let me simulate it once more so now you can see they are working very fine let me add physics shape operator in our bullets too 
Okay, now I'll go into the type flow. And let me go into the physics. I select simulation group 1 and 2. So they both will collide with ground. Okay, here's one thing I am not seeing. And this is when our plank is going into the next event. They are still dropping very slowly. So we have to increase their speed. So how we can do this? For this, we'll check where our bridge is fully settled at 30 frames. So now we'll go into the our slow operator. We'll select everything on the frames 0 to 30. Let me delete this. This operator here. From 0 to 30 frames, this will slow speed is by 20%. After that, it will work fine as normal. As you can see, it's working fine. Now, now we need to cut these ropes too. For that, let me go into the first frame. I'll copy this event and paste it here. But this time I'll remove the Vernoy effect. And I'll also copy our property test to this event and this event too. And I'll add this to the event 6. Okay, now let's test it. I'll select our property test in main ropes and I'll increase its. Uh, radius to 100 I guess and this too now let's test once more ok you can see the ropes are broken but this is very big radius so we have to make the radius smaller like 60 I guess I have changed the radius of rope test in ropes to 75 now you can see it's broken very beautifully you see okay you can see these binds are broken also so we have to change these settings so for these I am going into the binds I am going into the planks bind and I'll change its radius to I guess 20 centimeter let's test it yes now you can see they are working they are not colliding with these boxes so for that we need a physics cooling end operator i'll add in our uh, planks and i'll pick over these boxes okay now i'll copy it in every event except for bullets and these blank pieces we have to select our collider simulation group as these are the particle group 1 so we have to check it in every collision to 1 let's test it again for once yeah you can see it's working very fine so here's one problem it still don't work as I want so for that I am going into the physics binds in main rope and I am going into the proximity binds I will decrease its max binds to 2 same in sportive ropes but in our planks I am going to change its to like 10 or 5 max, 5 max binds I guess is ok working for me let me simulate it again for once yeah now it's working very pretty much as I want so uh, one more thing I want when this part of the bridge hit to this ground I want to cut it from the center like this section this whole section will fall down to the ground but in other side I will just unbind these two planks on. so for that let me create a box let me copy it for once more 
now we need surface test operator i'll add it to our planks as we only want these planks to remove so i'm only going to select this box and going the distance to inside and i'm going to copy this operator but this time i'm going to delete this one no fracture operator because i just want the whole plank to fall on the ground not into the pieces so let me delete this operator i'm going to attach our surface test to this operator yes you can see it's working properly as i want it hit and they here they are falling okay now we need to cut this rope from when they hit so for that we also need surface test operator i'm going to copy this our main rope operator only in surface test operator i'm going to remove this subject and i'll add p cover this i am going to attach it to the row break operator let me test it again so you can see our rope is also broken let me play it for you the bullet hit our bridge is damaged and when they hit to this part here is the here is our main rope is also broken and our and the piece of the bridge is falling down on this side only planks will fall okay here is one more thing i want i want when these planks hit to this ground they'll turn into the pieces also so for that i'm going to add a property test again and i'm going to use a test type to degradation magnitude and i'll select it so greater than or equal to 10 i guess and i'm going to add a bornoy fracture also but in the next event i'm going its points value to 5 yeah the 5 value is okay i'm going to attach our property test to this event and let's test it if it's work fine here we go see it's falling into this event in one piece but you can see as soon as this plank hit to the ground its declaration uh, increased this turn into the pieces but not this plank but right after this plank hit to the ground too this is also turn into the pieces i want to despair this bullet as soon as this is hit to the ground so for that i'm going to add a box change it to display as a box and not renderable need surface test in our bullet selection and we need a display operator but i'm going it to hide it let me select this box listed inside but here one more thing i want when this bullet hit to this plank this should also hide i am going to copy our property test operator from plank and going to paste it in bullet but i am going to change its particle group to one particle group to one connect it to the our event with nothing so let me simulate see it's working very beautifully so for rendering this scene we need mesh operator in our bullets event also in our planks event now we can render this scene i'm going to add all these files and my original files in my patreon account if you like this tutorial please hit the like button and share this tutorial to 